Hi everybody, Denise here, and we're going to build this quick little card together. It's so quick when you have the pieces already done. I am not going to color and shape the flower with you though. I am going to refer you to any of the flower shaping videos we already have on the YouTube channel. And I'm not sure if I have one. I could use Distress Ink Reinkers. You can use any reinkers. I use Distress Ink Reinkers to color this, um, and I use some water with it, so I did it sort of a watercolor ish. I'm sorry about the shadows. Um, and, and so that's how I colored them both. I'm not sure if there's a video, like I said, on our YouTube channel, but I will work on getting one up there. So simple, ready? And I always go up and down because I never know which side is up. If you've watched my videos, you know that. So super easy. All you're doing with this, you have your card. Now you can do this as a vertical card, I guess. As long as you could fit the happy birthday, maybe you want to curve it. I tend to like the top fold better, but it's your card. Do what you want. Super easy. Watch this. Take your dries clear glue. I always use dries clear glue. And wet adhesive is better because if you, if you don't have it quite right, you can still move it around with a tape runner. It's a one and done. And if it's not right, it's, you know, it's a hassle, right? You pull it off, the paper rips, and you don't have any more. So you have this. Take your dries clear glue. And if you have a fine tip, this is a perfect time for it. And if not, don't worry, it dries clear if you have that glue, whether it's the Arc Litter glue or the Barely Arts glue. I would put glue around here and strategically where I can put it and pop that right down. All right? Layer number two done. Take some foam tape, pop this. Take some foam tape, pop that. Now notice I have this off center and I have it off center because of the size of the flower. First of all, it doesn't really cover the opening and the square if you do it this way. And if you like that, that's okay. I, I did not. And I did like this smaller oval, oval better than the original sample. So you have that. I pop dotted each layer and then I built my flower, which has one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. It looks like five layers. So one of each size. And I just layered them in and I put it here and where there was still a gap, that's where I put the leaves. The happy birthday, you can move the letters around. You can make them into shapes like you can uh, put it clearly in, in an oval. It won't, I'm sorry, I'm losing my words for how to do this. It, um, it won't affect it because it's a die cut. Do whatever you want with it. And the pearls, if the pearls are too much for you, then do, do what works for you. If you like them all, throw them all out. If you don't like pearls at all, keep them and use them on something else. It's your card. Do what you want to do. But again, you, the only thing left to do is for you to adhere the happy birthday and for you to build color, shape, and build your flower and pop it on. That's it piece of cake. It's so easy when you have a kid. It really is. Um, but again, I don't tend to build the cards on the, um, when I do the video because we're making only a limited number of kits now and when they're gone, they're gone. So I don't really want to waste a kit. I do them sometimes like if it's a shake or just if it's a technique so that you have it in case you've never done that before. Um, but this is easy and straightforward. So I hope that this is helpful. Again, go on over to any of our other videos um, to look for any flower shaping videos and the leaves you're going to do the same way, but they're in there usually as well. If you have any questions, then don't feel, don't hesitate and feel free to contact us or write a comment on the Facebook page. Remember scrapbooking stuff group. Don't forget to hit subscribe too, so that we can continue to go um, live. We're hoping to go live in the summer. We aren't yet, but we can go live once we have a minimum of a certain number of um, subscribers per YouTube. So we'd love to be able to come to you live and do fun play along classes or even paid classes at some point, whether it's layouts or projects or cards. So please be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button. And again, th this is your finished card. All right, so I hope to see you in the store soon and get to meet you in person. And if not, I hope we get to see you online. Have a great day, everyone.